morning, Met Tykes. Thank you for joining us for Bible Story Time. Unfortunately, Mrs. Robin is asleep. We should probably wake her up. Mrs. Robin. Mm-hmm. You gotta wake up. What is it? It's Bible Story Time. You can't mm -hmm. be sleeping during Bible Story Time. Oh, yeah. You're right. Uh-huh. It's not a good time to be sleeping during no, Bible Story Time. No, definitely not a good time. Oh, okay. Yeah. You good? You know, this reminds me of a story in the Bible huh? where somebody else is sleeping and they shouldn't be. Why don't you tell us a story? I will. Good morning, boys and girls. Our story today is going to be found from Matthew chapter 26, and we know that all the stories in God's Word are true. Today our story begins with Jesus and his disciples arriving at the Garden of Gethsemane. And when he arrives, he says to the disciples, stay here and wait while I go over there and pray. And he takes Peter, James, and John with him. And as he's walking, his heart starts to get very sad. And he says to them, Peter, James, and John, my heart is very sad, so sad to the point of death. Please stay here while I go and pray. So Jesus goes a little further to pray. And boys and girls, I want to take this, this moment just to, to share with you as well that there are going to be times in our lives where our hearts are very sad. And it's really important that when we're sad, that we go and we talk to our Heavenly Father as well, who loves us and cares for us, and He wants to hear what's on our hearts too. Now Jesus' heart is very sad, and he goes and he falls down on his face to pray. And he prays, Oh, Father, please take this cup away from me. But not my will, but yours be done. Now, what does he mean by take this cup from me? What cup? Well, we've been talking about how Jesus is God. And so as God, he knows everything. And Jesus knows that very soon he is going to have to die on the cross. And we've also been talking about how Jesus is God, but Jesus is also man. And as a man, he is, he is afraid, not afraid, but he knows he's going to face pain and suffering. And oh, it's going to hurt. And he doesn't want to go to the cross. And he knows that when he dies on the cross, he is going to be taking all of the sins of everybody upon himself. And he is going to be paying the penalty for everybody's sins. And the weight of that is heavy. And he doesn't want to go. Now, I don't know if you've ever had to do something where you know it's going to be painful and you don't want to go. Maybe you've had to go to the dentist. You've had a cavity and your tooth is hurting and you know that you're going to have to get a needle and that needle is really going to hurt. And so you beg your mom and dad, please, please, I don't want to have to go to the dentist. Please, I can just stay here. I'll brush my teeth really well. But your mom and dad tell you, you need to go to the dentist. It's important. If you don't get the cavity filled, your tooth is going to really hurt. It's going to get worse. Maybe you might even have to get your tooth pulled out. So even though you might be scared, you go because you know it's right. Well, Jesus, he didn't, he didn't want to have to go through all that pain, but he also knew that it was important to go to the cross because he knew that God had sent him to go to the cross to pay the penalty for our sins so that our sins could be forgiven and our relationship with God could be restored and that one day we could spend eternity with him in heaven. And so Jesus willing to say, not my will, but yours be done. When Jesus was done praying, he went back to his disciples. And guess what? He found them sleeping. So Jesus wakes them up and he says, Peter, couldn't you stay awake for one hour while I prayed? Now, stay awake, pray, so that you don't fall into temptation too. Your, your, your spirit is willing, but your body is weak. Come on, wake up. So Jesus goes back to pray. And he falls down on his knees and he prays again. Oh, Father, please, if 
this cup cannot be taken away unless I drink from it. Let your will be done. So again, Jesus is saying that he's willing to do what God wants him to do. So he goes back to the disciples, and guess what? They're still sleeping. So Jesus returns, and he prays again for a third time. He prays the same thing. And then he goes back to the disciples, who unfortunately are still sleeping, and he wakes them up. Wake up, wake up! He says, the time has come. The time has come for me. He says, the one who's going to betray me is, is coming. What does it mean to be betrayed? Well, someone who was his friend was now going to turn him in to be arrested. And that man was Judas Iscariot. And just as Jesus was saying that, Judas came with a large crowd of people with swords and clubs. And now Judas had already told them that he was going to identify who Jesus was by giving him a kiss on the cheek. And when he kissed Jesus on the cheek, they were to arrest him. So Judas comes up to Jesus and says, Teacher, and gives him a kiss on the cheek. And Jesus says, Do what you've come to do. And the crowds arrest Jesus. And Peter, trying to defend Jesus, pulls out his sword and cuts off the ear of the high priest's slave. And Jesus says, stop, put your swords away. Those who use the sword are going to die by the sword. He says, I could call on my father and he could send a whole host of angels to fight for me. But I don't need that. So I'm willing to go because the scriptures have to be fulfilled. Because Jesus was saying what was prophesied about his death has to come true. So Jesus has to do what God sent him to do and that he was willing to go. So Jesus heals the ear of the high priest slave. And then he turns to the crowd and he says, why do you come to arrest me with swords and clubs? Every day I've been with you, teaching and healing those who are sick. I'm, I'm willing to go because the scriptures need to be fulfilled. I need to do what God said, has sent me to do. And boys and girls, that's the end of our story today. And if you come back next week, you'll hear more as we continue to share stories about what happens with Jesus, especially as Easter is coming. So remember, today we learn that because Jesus is God, Jesus knows all things. And we also learned that Jesus obeyed his Father. Let's close together in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for leaving your throne in heaven, for coming to earth, for being obedient to the Father, to die on the cross, to pay the penalty for our sins, so that we could be forgiven and have a relationship with God. Thank you for going through such pain and sorrow for taking away the sin upon yourself because you love us so much. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for dying for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you have a great day. Bye.